bunch. <gasps> if you have a problem, pull this handle. It signals us and we arrive in the blink of an eye. Gilbert, your turn. All right, all right, all right. This game requires self-control, concentration, and a basic knowledge of physics. <laughs> he won't do it. He's shaking. And he chose the trickiest one. Gilbert! Guess who? Patricia! Oh, sorry, Gilbert. Dumpy, dumpy, dumpy! Miguel! Oops, sorry, Gilbert. Just like my tummy after I eat chili. No need to panic, guys. That was an earthquake. But it's over now. An earthquake? I was scared, were you? Miguel like earthquake. Shakey, shakey, shake. We're done with pickup sticks for today. Let's go and check if our lair is all right. But it was my turn. That's just not fair. And you can let uh... go of me now, Patricia. Earthquake's over. <laughs> oh, good. We were lucky. I hope there won't be too much damage in the jungle. Well, it's about time to find out. The Jungle Bunch? <laughs> to the rescue! Good mission! Friend, tell me what brings you here. Hello, I'm Professor Ernest. The earth tremor which occurred this morning has opened up a large crack right in the middle of our village. It must be closed, otherwise our houses will be swallowed up. I even tried to sew it up, but it didn't work. Sorry, say that again? You said you tried to... Sew it back up, but it didn't work. Our village is sinking. Sew so it? You tried to sew your village? <laughs> I know what you're saying. It took some thinking, and indeed it did. But you see, I am an inventor. As I always say, we Kiwis may not have arms, but we do have ideas. Mm -hmm. Let me show you a few of my recent inventions. This is a ladder for people who are afraid of heights. <laughs> this compass points you in the direction you're heading. I'm heading this way. Now I'm heading this way. Dr. Chicken, very smart. Dr. Chicken, great genius. I see some are science connoisseurs. And finally, my pride and joy, the honker horn. No, oh, it warns of obstacles up ahead. Isn't the warning a little bit late? It stops you from crashing a second time. Okay, let's go to your village. Yes, of course. It's this way. Or this way. Oh. Yeah, let's go sew the village back up. Nonsense. Sun, the depths of the Earth. Impressive, huh? The earthquake caused a large landslide. We have to find a way to stabilize the tectonic plate the village stands on. If only my seam had held. How will we do it, Gilbert? I have no idea. We need to know exactly what happened underground when the earthquake occurred. So in this case, guys, we have no choice. We're gonna have to go down into that chasm and have a look for ourselves. Now, this should hold you just fine, Miguel. Nothing to worry about, son. Repelling is child's play. In any case, we're all attached to one another, so you can't fall. 
We are not going down there like this. We are not even sure if a rope is long enough. We need to know exactly how deep it is before venturing down there. No problem. I'll measure the depth with my scientific method. We'll lower a rope attached to a rock into the chasm. Once it touches the bottom, we'll pull up the rope and measure the length of rope used. Miguel like Dr. Chicken. Miguel wants to help Dr. Chicken. Uh, the rope that you use. Don't tell me it is. No, Gilbert, do something. I can't hold on to it very long. Mr. Maurice, Miguel and Dr. Chicken done bad. Huh? Where'd they all go? Well then, is everyone all right? Third invention may actually have a use after all. This darkness makes me so nervous. I'm afraid in the dark. My ladder isn't going to work as well now, I'm afraid. I think we can still use it. You think so? It's broken. I'll also need a few of your feathers, if you don't mind. My feathers? Well... Here we are, my friends. Throw a little light on the subject. You may let go of me now, Patricia. Got white. Ah. <gasps> when Miguel thump, see the mushrooms light up. Thumpy, thumpy, thumpy. This is saltpeter, the stone salt, a powder with exceptional chemical properties. This place is truly fascinating. Be careful, Maurice. Saltpeter is very flammable. And I found some rocks that smell like rotten eggs. It must be sulfur, Ernest. It is often found in volcanic areas. Those phosphorus and mushrooms are magnificent. I'll pick them to give us more light. Oh! Oh! I wasn't scared. <laughs> Excuse me, I can't help it. <laughs> I love practical jokes. My name's Patrick, but all my friends call me Pat, but since I have no friends, call me whatever. Hello, Pat. Uh, whatever. I'm Maurice, and this is the jungle by- Psych! <laughs> I gotcha! <laughs> I should have seen your face. So, what brings you down here, may I ask? Ernest's village is just above us. Since the earthquake, the village has been slowly sliding into the chasm. The earthquake's done a lot of damage down here, too. A huge pile of rubble almost fell onto me, and since then, the ceiling hasn't stopped falling. I'll show you. After you, Maurice. <laughs> Is this another of your jokes, Pat? Okay, I confess. I put some slippery seaweed on the ground. <laughs> Here we are. This is where it collapsed. You'll get a better view with more light on. Allow me. There's our problem. That block got dislodged during the earthquake, and it now puts pressure on the central pillar of the cave. If that pillar breaks, the ceiling will fall right on our heads. How are we supposed to move it? Since we can't move it, we'll destroy it. Listen up. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Looks like things are gonna get hot in here. I think I'll take cover if you guys don't mind. Thanks for your help. I hope I see you guys again. I had a lot of fun. Psych. Huh? <laughs> I got you back. <laughs> <laughs> take care, Pat. Bye, Jungle Bunch. Good luck. Patricia, fire. Quick, we've got to get out of here. The crack 
is almost closed! No time to climb out. Ernest, give me your feathers. Again, but I hardly have any left. No time to argue, Professor. Miguel, his feathers, quick! Sorry, Dr. Chicken. No. Patricia, we're here. Well, my friends, what an adventure. Good thing we had my inventions, huh? I don't know how to thank you for saving my village. Just doing our job, Ernest. Yeah, and we're gonna call you when we need something sewn. <laughs> for the jungle bunch. Hip, hip, hooray! You've lost, Bob. It's Miguel's turn now. Son, Junior. Any of you seen Junior? Did you look in the bamboo? <laughs> Very funny. Okay, I'm here. So, Gilbert, what important news do you have for us? I've gathered you all here to explain the new rules for whenever you're under my branch. Um, okay, we're listening. Fine. Rule number one, there is no talking under my branch. Rule number two, absolutely no talking under my branch. Um, they're the same. Yes, I know, Al. It's in case you didn't hear rule number one. But which of them is more important? Yes, well... They're both important! Do we need both of them? Okay, here we go again. Rules number one and two, no talking under my bridge! Rule number three! <laughs> what, Patricia? <laughs> What's wrong? Just speak! Well, I just wanted to ask a question, but then I remembered there was no talking under your branch, so I didn't dare. But we haven't begun enforcing the new rules yet, Patricia. We're just explaining them now. Let's try and make a bit of an effort, for Gilbert's sake. Mr. Maurice, Miguel real nice. Miguel no talk on the Naughty Mouse's branch. Silence! <laughs> Everyone keep quiet! Shh! That's much better. <laughs> Sorry, Gilbert, duty calls. Come on, the Jungle Bunch! To, to the, the rescue! rescue. Good, Good mission! mission. <laughs> 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 Open! Can Miguel thump Big Bald Mouse, please, Mr. Maurice? Come on, Miguel. These poor creatures have come to ask for our help. And I think I know what brings you all here. <laughs> Some nasty thief stole all your fur. Hmm. Huh? Right? Am I right? Come on, Maurice. Hmm. These are mole rats. They live underground, and they are not furry. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> so, my friends, tell me what brings you here. A uh, dragon chases away from our village, great tiger warrior. A dragon? Such nonsense. Dragons don't exist. And what is a small genius called a huge monster with a body covered with feathers and scale with huge mm -hmm. wings and a gigantic neck? The small genius would like to know what a dragon will be doing in an underground village. Well, he has stolen our... Mm. A treasure! <laughs> a treasure? Really? What kind of treasure? Yellow, shiny stones, mm -hmm. gorgeous, multicolored crystals. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. uh, and what are they for? Uh, nothing. But it's pretty, mm -hmm. and it's so shiny, and precious. Well, my friends, let's go. We've got a dragon to catch. Here's the entrance to our burrows, and here's a map to go to the village to make sure you don't get lost in our network of tunnels. Gilbert, those caves must be pitch black, and you're the best one to see in the dark. Don't worry, my friends, we're going to wipe the floor with your dragon. You'll soon be able to get back home and get your treasure. Good luck, Jungle Bunch! So, Gilbert, do you think you can get us to the village? It doesn't look all that difficult. All right, which way? Straight ahead. And now? 
Straight ahead. And now? Straight ahead. And now? Straight ahead! For a dark tunnel, it's awful dark, don't you think? Shh! What's the problem, Gilbert? Nothing at all. I just want to enjoy the silence. deep those marks are? That dragon must have huge claws! Don't worry, Patricia. We'll give him a manicure. <sighs> Mr. Maurice, where is the dragon to be thumped? Huh? Where is he? Dumpy, dumpy, dumpy! Dumpy, dumpy, dumpy! Keep quiet, Miguel. You're gonna alert that so-called dragon. Let's explore this place while he's gone. Scales? It's a dragon. It really is a dragon. Maurice, what are we gonna do? Hmm. Go in there and wait. Junior and I will deal with this. So, you big fat lizard. Yeah, I'm talking to you, you beast. So, you're gonna give the mole rats their fur back and... Huh? Oh, my bad. You're gonna give the mole rats their treasure back at once, and I'm willing to forget all about it this time. Little dumpling, you have to go and get caught. I'm a dumpling, a little dumpling, and I have to jump into the pot and get cooked. <laughs> I told you dragons don't exist. My friends, this is not actually a dragon, but really three different animals. Remember the claw marks we saw in the tunnel? They belong to the animal sporting these, a Komodo monitor. Mr. Gilbert, can Miguel thump the Commodore moniker? Of course, Miguel. And this feather, those huge wings, belong to a vulture, of course. Um, but what about the dragon's head? This is where our final culprit comes into play, Patricia. A huge snake's head with a spellbinding stare. A King Cobra, naturally. And together, those three sinister characters are passing off as a dragon. Why? I have no idea, Junior. But I'll make sure we ask them that very question right after we captured them, and to do that, I have a plan. What about Maurice? We can't leave him like that. Hmm. You are no longer a dumpling. You are the great tiger warrior. Grr. What am I doing here? Junior's signal. Yes! Your move, Patricia! Let 
The snakes hypnotize the other two. You gotta manage to split them up. Maurice, Miguel, go take care of them while I get ready. You are no longer the dragon's legs and wings. You are yourselves! <laughs> Hey, what are we doing here? My legs, my wings, my treasure! But they're not even a treasure. Those rocks are useless. But they're pretty, they're shiny, they're precious. And you can't have it! And you will now go fast asleep. Thanks, Jungle Punch. Your dragon is history, my friends. Thank you for your help. Precious. What about our treasure, Great Tiger Warrior? Is it still there? If I were you, I'd get rid of those rocks as soon as possible. They're nothing but trouble. So, Gilbert, what was that important thing you had to say? I just wanted to ask you to look at this. Oh! You are sheep. You are sheep that just keep turning around and around. Finally, silence. Ba 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 oh boy. Sodei! Sodei! They're coming! The Papa Escape from Grubby Beer. No one. Let's catch him, mates. Hard to starboard. On guard, matey. And now, how about a taste of old Jim's secret attack? My father taught me. He's the greatest pirate of all time. Aha. Bet you're not feeling so smart now, Tree. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's Tree One, Susie Zero. <laughs> That's some pirate, huh? She's never even set a paw on a ship yet. And she stinks really bad. <laughs> so who cares? Us pirates, we never wash. You'll all see one day I'll have a pirate ship and a crew just like my dad. Yeah, right. Your father, the great pirate, whom you send messages to every day and who never answers you back. You're a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Huh? Huh? Susie! Susie! Hey, it's my dad's parrot. Susie, Jim entrusted me with his map that I should give you. He told me to tell you that. Your first news, I you see him. My sweet daughter, it's your father. In your last message, you said that you've learned a lot. You can now steer a ship and you have mastered uh -huh. my secret attack. I was very proud to hear that. You're going to go and retrieve our family treasure so it doesn't fall into the wrong hands. <laughs> the time has come for you to take the helm. For you to become a genuine pirate. Hmm? And remember, to be a pirate, all will fear, never wash from toe to ear. It's the pirate way to stay dirty every day. The toe jam on our feet and the burgers that we eat. And as a rule, a dab of stinky lobster drool. Being a pirate uh. is cool! <clears throat> so you're old Jim's daughter, is that right? Huh? Hand me over your map. Two seconds, please. So, who's the liar now, huh? Na 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 na! Sorry, where were we again? Oh, right! Ah! Run! Susie, there's only one person that can help you! There we go, lovely new stripes. Now training can begin. Ready, son? You go, Maurice! Ooh. You go, Ooh. Junior! Woo, woo, woo. We want some sport, we want some action! Come on, you tigers! You are champions! Mr. Maurice, ready? Okay, Miguel, let's do it! Don't ever forget the tiger's three main weapons, Junior. <gasps> First thing is power! <laughs> <laughs> 
second, intense speed. <laughs> And finally, instinct. And that's what makes us the greatest predators in the jungle. Woohoo! Well done, tigers! That was perfect. Huh? Cheers. Cheers. Ah, is that racket about over? Do that somewhere else. Just leave me alone with what matters the most. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Gilbert, you said what matters the most. Yes, absolutely! <laughs> what? Can't I have something that matters to me? Yeah. Is this about Patricia? Hmm? No, seriously, Maurice. I mean my branch. Patricia? Nonsense! She's too clingy. And you've got to admit she's a bit strange. She digs up flowers every day to give me. <laughs> Hello, Patricia. Here you are, Gilbert. <laughs> there! See what I mean? Training's over. Duty calls, my friends. The Jungle Bunch. <laughs> to the rescue! Good mission! Good mission. Coming, where's the fire? <laughs> now you have nowhere to hide, young lassie. So, my friends, what brings you to these parts? Sorry, force of habit. Listen, pirates, breaking down doors is just wrong. Get ready for the great tiger warrior's anger. Grr! Calm your stripes, matey. We've come to pilfer the kid's map. Please, will you help me? This little girl is under my protection. You'll have to go through me first. Rightio. Cannonball, fire. Aye, aye, me cop and grubby beer. Load the cannon. Go and hide, young lady. It's dangerous. Miguel? Dumpy, dumpy, dumpy. I can't believe my eyes! All this commotion! This is not a civilized way to solve a problem. <laughs> huh? You're never going to get my father's map from me, you big fat furball! Give me that map, old Jim's kid. You call yourself a pirate? Your father hasn't got much to be proud of, does he? But my map... Hey, you're old Jim's daughter? You'll give her back that map right now, Grubby Beard! <laughs> Just settle down, Stripey. You're out of your lead. Fuse, turn those second-rate Robin Hoods into a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> Attention. There's gonna be a boom. <laughs> Hold on, what is that? Are you nuts? That's dangerous! <laughs> Junior, just like we learned, power! <laughs> So you're good old Jim's daughter? Mm -hmm. So you're a pirate? A real one? Uh... Yeah, yeah, I get by. I met your father when I first started off as the Great Tiger Warrior. He taught me a thing or two, too. But he never would teach me his famous secret attack. So then, do you know it? Uh, yeah, of course I know it. Here is old Jim's famous secret attack. My dad always says, Listen, Susie, it's a formidable trick that can surprise any opponent. Arr! Uh, little 
Susie smell like poo. Thank you. Pirates, we never wash. And we're proud of it. That's wonderful. But can we now pursue those thieves who have destroyed my precious friends? Well said, Gilbert. We've got a score to settle with that grubby beard. Fred, we'll follow you. Those pirates give off a mighty stink. Following them is easier than you think. <laughs> There they are. Gilbert, got a plan? Of course, Maurice. My plan has two parts to it. We go in, and all of us will thump those stinky branch destroyers! Miguel like Gilbert's plan. Thump, thump, thump. Wait just a sec. Those pirates know you. They'll never let you through. On the other hand, they've never seen Al, Bob, or Fred. Hey! With my friends, the Toads on board, we'll get that map before the pirates lift their sword! Yeah. Are you guys down with that? Don't worry, Maurice. We rule. We totally rule. Stop! Who goes there? Greetings, pirates. We have come to join your crew. Captain Grubby Beard doesn't hire just anyone. Did you say anyone? <laughs> Hold on now. You mean you don't recognize the internationally famous singing star? It is my privilege to introduce to you mm. Fred the Great! Wow! I sing my song as we sail the ocean blue. But when my tune is over, you'll welcome me to your crew. Well, it's not bad. Go and see the Captain Grubby Beard. He's the one who decides. We did it! We're awesome! We totally rolled! It worked. They're aboard. They'll have your map back in no time, Susie. Uh, Susie? Your stripes look really handsome. <laughs> uh, um, do you have a girlfriend? They're not even listening. <laughs> Captain Grubbybeard, your new crew reporting for duty. Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. What exactly is it that you do? I know a lot of songs. I sing from dusk till dawn. Songs that make a sailor weep. Songs that help you get hmm. to sleep. Okay, you go to the bow. Ah. My men will roll to your music. Can't they hurry up? They've nearly finished loading their provisions and they're going to shove off. What's in that barrel? Oh. Oh. That's sardine juice, the pirate's favorite drink. Huh, there's some left. I thought it couldn't be found anywhere. Gobby! Be careful with the sardine juice barrel. It may be the last one in the jungle. If you waste a single drop, you're shark bait. Got it? There's the map, Bob. You keep the captain busy while I get it back. Huh? Uh, what do I say to him? Well, if he asks you a question, just reply, aye, aye, captain, and you'll be fine. Aye, aye, captain. Aye, aye, captain. Aye, aye, captain. Now, where are we? What can you do aboard a ship, slime ball? Uh. I, Captain? What? You the captain? There's only one captain here, and that be I. Got it? Anyone who disagrees <laughs> will end up as shark food. <laughs> Did he say captain? <laughs> captain for us means chief. Chief chef, of course. Glad to hear it. The last cook we had, his food tasted like cardboard. So he went overboard. Well, we rock the kitchen. Perfect. Now, I suggest you prepare the finest pirate feast we've ever had, Frog. Or else. Let's raise anchor. We got us a treasure to find. What's going on now? Don't tell me they're going with them. You sing. Yo ho ho. To the treasure we will go! Yo ho ho! To the treasure we will go! We are pirates and we're strong because we row! Keep it up, you're doing great, don't go too slow! We're almost there, another push from head to toe! Okay, I lied, I see a shore, what do I know? Bad pirates take toad friends and piggy friends. It's complicated. We'll need to follow them. But we don't have the map. We don't know where they're going. Hmm. They're headed towards the west. But there are dozens of islands in that direction. 
Head up to the west where the sun goes down to rest. Na 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 What's that you're singing, Susie? Gilbert just reminded me of this special pirate song my dad always used to sing to me when I was a little girl. But I've forgotten half the words to it. Try and remember, Susie. It could really help us. Mmm. Oh, I think I remember. Huh? <gasps> I don't. Oh. <laughs> okay, now I've got it. Head up to the west where the sun goes down to rest. Grab a hold of the wheel and your sword that's made of steel. To find the special treasure, the white cliffs will rule. A pirate's life is cool. That's it. Cliffs in white granite to the west. It can only mean one island. Yellow Dragon Island. Well done, Gilbert. All right, let's get to work, friends. We've got to catch up with those pirates. But that design is not going to work at all. The sail is too big. And the hull's just too flat. And that's not a rudder. Hmm. Susie, do you know what a boat is? Yeah, of course. I'm a pirate. Sheesh. Right, because you see, this isn't a boat! <sighs> Yellow Dragon Island. Oh, oh, oh. Why is it called the Yellow Dragon, Captain? Because according to the legend, Mullet, it's guarded by a terrible yellow dragon. Yellow? I yellow. <laughs> Har! Shiver me timbers! Are you trying to steal our sardine uh, juice? Uh, I just need a little to cook with. A couple drops to add a touch of spice. Okay, okay, no need to get all excited like that. We'll make some more sardine juice for you. What's the recipe? Listen, pond scum! Sardine juice is a mystery. No one knows the exact recipe. Got it? You scalawag. Got it. Can you close your mouth, though? I can smell what you had for lunch three weeks ago. Captain! Huh? The Reeks! Oh! You're supposed to tell us before, eel! Man your post, everyone! <laughs> the only way to go through those reefs is there. Copy! To port. Hoist the main sail. Here's the plan. Patricia, you'll take care of Susie's map. We'll go round to the arch and catch the pirates unaware and get our friends back. Good luck! <laughs> Furball, ready for takeoff. Patricia! So you must know her. Are you in cahoots with Stripey's gang? <gasps> no, no, no. We said Patricia. Uh, because where we come from, Patricia means Philly. Uh, yes, 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 <laughs> he's right. Oh, Patricia, that bad erased the map. Patricia and Patricia again. Uh. Over there! Hmm? Look! Hmm? The yellow dragon! the yellow dragon's rock! No one can approach this island! Flee from here! Flee! Huh? 
teeny weeny dragon is not going to stop us from rescuing our friends. Let's go! And anyway, we've got old Jim's daughter with us. Everything's going to be fine, right, Susie? You're a boarding pro! Actually, Junior, I've, I've got something to confess. I'm not really... Prepare to board, oh. Bonsai! The Jungle Bunch and Pirate Susie to the rescue! Susie? You know him? Mm -hmm. Stripey is keeping the dragon busy. Time for us to go through, Gobby. Move it! Susie! Ha <laughs> ha There, that's Lost Souls Cliff. If we go through there to join the whale's tooth, but there should be an X indicating where that treasure is on this map. Where is that X? Listen up, you boars. I am not your personal sketch pad, am I? And I'd like to be able to wash off my face. Out of the question. You're my map now. No oh. more washing. Radio. Let's sail away, mateys. Gabby, to port. Well, aye, aye, my captain. Ah. Oh, Patricia. Gabby, you fool. You steer like a beached whale. Patricia and more Patricia. But I didn't do anything wrong. Mm. So Patricia is your name, is that it? I'm beginning to think that some tricky toads have been making a fool of me. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, we never met her before. Patricia, be a pal. Tell them we don't know you, girl. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Maurice. We're prisoners? That's right, Maurice. And to top it off, we become the ingredients of a giant cake! Miguel think Miguel cake yummy. Unacceptable. Don't tell me you're going to eat us. No need to fret, Maurice. They're not gonna eat us. We're just gonna be served as a snack to the dragon. Oh! I can't get off this boat, I tend to sink instead of float. And the water's kind of dark, not to mention the occasional shark. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You're not gonna throw my friends to the sharks just like that. Your friends be spies. They wanted to steal me map. The sharks. <gasps> well, in case you didn't notice yet, the map is me now. So you're going to listen to me, you bunch of dirty boars. Or I swear I'll use this. <laughs> It's a sponge! For washing! <laughs> That's so gross! If any of you hurts my friends, I'll do this! Come out! Oh, no! <laughs> okay, Bad Map, you win. You put down the sponge, and your friends will be fine. <laughs> well done, Patricia! Hello there! Not feeling so tough now, are we? You old dirtbag, and no, you can't hurt me. Otherwise, my friend will rub off the map, and you'll never know where the treasure is. Ah, so that's where my beautiful treasure be hiding. What? The treasure? Is it on my palm? Cubby, starboard! <laughs> Cannonball, grab this! <laughs> All right, dear boas, it's your last chance. Let us out of here before I lose it. Grr! Forget it, Maurice. I can't understand our language. You listen to Mr. Maurice, little rabbit, or else Miguel thumps you. Dumpy, dumpy, dumpy. <gasps> dumpy, dumpy, dump. 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 Dumpy, dumpy, Be 
Miguel, stop, little rabbit, Mr. Maurice. Feel free, Miguel. Mika, 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 Mika. Now I know where old Jim's treasure is. <laughs> and I don't need the map anymore. Throw that to the sharks with the other three. Guys, I may have a solution before we become water pollution. You won't accept the truce, so before we become shark moose, can we have a taste of sardine juice? No, it's only for pirates. But, Captain, we're pirates, true? Yes, Mullet. So could we have some sardine juice, Captain? Uh, no. Could we have some sardine juice, Captain? No. Can we, we have, have some, some sardine, sardine juice, juice Captain? Captain? No! Can, Can we, we have, have some, some sardine, sardine juice, juice Captain? Captain? <sighs> okay, I just one glass got it, and afterwards I throw them to the sharks. Ho, ho, ho! Who takes the juice and drinks it down? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Who, Who takes, takes the juice and drinks it down? We pirates do what gives our coats a grungy glow. It runs our teeth and makes us think we're head to toe. You'll catch a whiff before you hear it. Ho, ho, ho! Little rabbits like swimming. There, that's my dad. It looks as if he's bringing the dragon to the island. That baby is you, Susie. You've been here before, and you've met that dragon, too. Mm. Poor little rabbits can't swim because of bad dragon. <laughs> Look, Miguel, don't you see the cannon on you to get rid of him? Thumpy, thumpy, thump. Thumpy, thumpy, thump. Thumpy, thumpy, thump. It's those dreaded pirates. This time we'll rescue our friends and we'll get even with that awful grubby beard. And get my map back. And avenge my branch. And Miguel thump bad dragon to make all the little rabbits happy. You thinking what I'm thinking, Gilbert? Mm, I am. Another verse, Fred. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Anyone here afraid? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Anyone here afraid? It's not us, the pirates. Don't have no fear. We grab the loot and leave the mess and disappear. <laughs> All right, enough singing. Into the ocean with you. Look, here, here comes, comes the jungle, jungle bunch to the rescue. <laughs> Except we're headed straight for the dragon. Junior, you're going to rescue Patricia. I'll take care of Susie. 
Be careful, son. Hang on, Susie. Banzai! Go ahead! Good riddance, Stripey! Or <laughs> Jim's treasure is mine! Come back alone. <laughs> hey, look! He saved her! Huh? Patricia! Uh... <laughs> and, uh, giraffe? Hello, Susie. Ooh. Uh, and who are you? I'm the Yellow Dragon. And you may call me Margo. But why do you dress as a dragon? To protect old Jim's treasure. Several years ago, I promised Susie's dad I would guard the island and frighten off intruders until his daughter could come and claim her rights. So, tell me where I can find the treasure. It's not that simple, Susie dear. I don't know where it's hidden. You're the only one who can find it, either using the map or the pirate's rhyme your father taught you. Of course, in the nursery rhyme, there's a part about the treasure. When the red circle falls down into the sea, you'll see the arch fire light up the big toothy. If you want my treasure, shadows must rule. Being a pirate is cool! I have no idea what that means. I see what you mean. It's not very clear. Uh, Gilbert, can you make any sense of this mess? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, Gilbert? I'm thinking! Hmm. Well? Hmm. Gilbert? Maurice, if you keep distracting me, I'll never figure it out! But we must hurry! The sun is almost down! The sun? But of course! That's it! The red circle! The arch fire! When the red circle falls down into the sea, you'll see the arch fire light up the big toothy. If you want my treasure, shadows must rule. Being a pirate is cool! That's it! That's where my dad hid his treasure! That path leads to the most dangerous place on the island. It's cursed. The Stone Snake Cave. We're nearly there, my friends. Bad pirates will get there before us! My friend, don't be so sure. Susie, Junior, hang on tight. We're going to try to slow down those pirates. We'll join you later, Maurice. Those bandits are gonna learn they shouldn't have tangled with the Jungle Bunch and destroyed my branch! Ready, Mr. Maurice? Ready, Miguel? <laughs> Cannonball, the fly, Gobby, keep watch. If anything stripey approaches, blow it to pieces. <laughs> That's it, Cap. Old Jim's treasure is within our reach. Don't get fired up, Fuse. Old Jim's clever. That cave must be booby-trapped. The eel, you go first. Aye, aye, me captain. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take the guard on the left. Junior, you take the one on the right. Susie, use your secret attack on the guard <gasps> holding the cannon. Um, uh, the secret attack right here, right now? I don't think that's a good idea. Trust hmm. me, you disarm him and Junior and I will take care of anything else. Banzai! <laughs> well done, son. <laughs> it's all yours, Susie! <laughs> uh, Susie? Huh? Yeah, Susie, we were counting on you. 
I'm so sorry. Hi! Look who's here! Old Jim's daughter and her pals! <laughs> you still want to pass yourself off as a pirate? <laughs> Stripey, looks like your son's quite a handful. <laughs> Junior! Stripey, if you want to see your son alive again, you'll get me old Jim's treasure. Don't worry, son. I'll be back soon. You'll pay for this grubby beard. You know, Junior, I never was a pirate, and I don't know any secret attack. I just wanted you guys to be interested in me, so I pretended. Yes, yes, you're right, Junior. When things are going wrong, a pirate never quits. Always stay relaxed. When life has caused you fits, meet your problem eye to eye. So you face it nose to nose. <laughs> then bite it in the toes. Quick, Junior, we have to go and help your dad. Captain, the kids have gotten away. We've got other issues right now. Hello, pirates. We've got a score to settle with you. So get ready for a fight. We'll let you out of sight. Forget those stairs. We're going to kick your derriers. Charge! Charge! Junior, Susie, well done, kids. Just avoid the bones if you don't want to be pureed. <sighs> if we pay attention to the lyrics in my dad's song, we can dodge all his booby traps. You saved my life, Susie. Junior and I always knew you were a real pirate. Being a pirate is cool. <laughs> oh, don't let him get through. Stand your ground, then. <laughs> I'm back. I'm gonna sort Stripey and that pesky little Susie out once and for all. Just avoid the bones if you don't want to be pureed. Keep your steps up high or you will need to have first aid. All right, here we go. Ready. stones. What are they for? No idea. Probably just decorations. <laughs> That's it! Maurice, it's my family secret! What's that? Some sort of family recipe? Precise! Huh? That's the sardine juice recipe. A long lost forgotten secret. Pirates are crazy about that drink. They'll blindly obey absolutely anyone who can supply them with it. If Grubby Beard gets his paws on it, all the pirates will obey me. And I will become the master of the seas and of the jungle, Stripey. You'll never get this treasure, Grubby Beard. And we'll kick your butt. So, you wanted to make a shock bait, did you? Come on, Fireball. Charge! Huh? Little rabbits come and dump with me, girl. Dumpy, 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 Uh, 
<laughs> you gonna challenge me with that twig? <laughs> You're at my mercy, Stripey. <laughs> Great big fat furball! Let's see what you can do against a real pirate! Ha! When it comes time to fight, a pirate does it right! We'll jab you here and there, and we'll even pull your hair! You're done for, Missy! <laughs> Secret attack I will apply to repel the big bad guy. Ah! A slimy booger in your eye. Ah! <laughs> hmm? ah! We've got to get out of here. It's going to collapse. Now that you have your treasure back, what will you do with it? I'll do what all pirates do. I'll find a great hiding place, and once I've hidden it, I'll draw a map so it can be found again. And I could protect it if you want me to. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> hmm? No, not me beard! Anything but that! Oh! Scrub behind the ears. They're crusty. Mm. <laughs> If you've got things on your mind, relax, chill out, and just unwind. Let Maurice and the Jungle Bunch beat the baddies to the punch. The Jungle Bunch totally rule. In just one word, we're cool. The Jungle Bunch totally rule. In just one word, we're cool. Gilbert, come and dance, Gilbert. Huh? I don't believe it. My love. <gasps> you've been here all along. <laughs> There, there, my lovely. My new friends! Exactly like the one before! <laughs> the Jungle Bunch totally rule. In just one word, we're cool. The Jungle Bunch totally rule. In just one word, we're cool. 